Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you to those of you that have recently subscribed. Did any of you there in Kansas feel the earthquake swarm? It's a small swarm that started last night at 10.46 p.m. local time. as a magnitude 3.5. It was 8.9 kilometers in depth or a little more than 5 miles, which would have caused uh, the earthquake to be felt over a wide area. It's still early, so reports are probably still coming in. But USGS gave it an intensity level of 4, meaning it was a light quake felt indoors by many, outdoors by a few. Um, at night, they would have been woken up. Dishes, windows, doors would have been rattling, um, making uh, cracking noises. You know, maybe the, the wood or plaster in the walls. Um, sensation like a heavy truck striking a building and standing automobiles would have rocked noticeably it was followed by a magnitude 2.7 um, 8.2 kilometers in depth that one also uh, 5.1 miles in depth and then more recently there was a magnitude 3.2 that one occurred at 12 14 a.m today six people said they felt it it was also given an intensity level of four Here's the felt map that was sent in to USGS Dorrance, intensity level 4. Two reports there. Another two here for intensity level 3. And uh, two more, a little bit farther south, intensity level 4. All these earthquakes were by Wilson Lake. Now that is a man-made reservoir. So it could have been activated by maybe the weight of the water. Or the reactivation of the central Kansas uplift. There are no known faults in this area, at least none that have been mapped. Uh, there has been about 200 earthquakes since 1977 on uh, yeah un unmapped basement faults for this area. It's also part of the Mid-Continent Rift System. And we also got the um, Humboldt Fault System. Yeah, from 1977 to now, uh, 200 earthquakes less than a magnitude 3. But there's been an uptick lately. So possibly, yeah, these faults have been reactivated. I don't know. Um, very unusual. You can see all the quakes that I got mapped out here. There hasn't been any um, in this location. But now there is. Kansas ranks 45th for earthquake um, probability, safety of all the um, states here in the United States. Yeah, 45th. So they, they're they not supposed to have earthquakes in Kansas, or at least a low probability for earthquakes in Kansas. Scientists say that there is only a 2% chance of a magnitude 5.0 occurring in Kansas within the next 50 years. The largest would, in this area here was in 1867. Now that was a magnitude 5.1. That struck near um, Manhattan, Kansas. But as you know, yeah, we got some major earth changes going on. The weakening of our magnetic field and earthquakes are growing in size and in number. I hope people are prepared for it. You know, what could be coming in the near future future so i would like to know if you felt this earthquake if you're watching this video and how long did it last what did the motion feel like was it a quick popping or what and i would like to know if there was any indication prior to this maybe your pets were nervous or yeah um, acting up maybe the cattle were um, unsettled yeah, put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to your comments. Please stay safe. Always be prepared for a disaster. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you.